Storm protection is essential in marine construction to safeguard coastal structures and ecosystems from nature's forces, ensuring the safety of lives, property, and the environment. Sheet piling, which involves driving prefabricated sections into the ground to form a continuous barrier, has proven effective for preventing coastal erosion, managing flood risk, and supporting embankments due to its strength and adaptability. In this video, we'll explore the role of sheet piling and storm protection, covering its design, installation, maintenance, costs, and environmental impacts. But before we begin, we want to quickly thank our sponsor who helped make this video possible, ECA, Equipment Corporation of America. Since 1918, the go-to provider for heavy construction equipment, furnishing contractors with the most advanced and reliable foundation equipment in the world. Now back to the video. Sheet piling plays a crucial role in storm protection by creating a sturdy barrier that can withstand the forces of water and prevent soil erosion. When storms hit coastal areas, the combination of strong winds, high waves, and heavy rainfall can lead to severe erosion and flooding. Sheet piles driven deep into the ground form a continuous wall that resists these forces, protecting the shoreline and maintaining the integrity of the land. By doing so, sheet piling not only preserves the natural landscape, but also protects infrastructure and property from storm damage. In areas prone to coastal erosion, sheet piling is proven to be an effective solution. For instance, on a stretch of coastline facing significant erosion due to strong tidal actions and storm surges, steel sheet piles were installed to create a robust seawall. This seawall acted as a barrier, absorbing the impact of waves and preventing the soil from being washed away. Over time, the sheet piles helped stabilize the coastline, reducing the rate of erosion and preserving the beach and nearby properties. Sheet pilings also widely used in flood defense systems to protect low-lying areas from flooding. In a recent project, a flood-prone city installed vinyl sheet piles along its riverbanks to prevent river water from overflowing into residential and commercial areas during heavy rain. The vinyl sheet piles, known for their resistance to corrosion and flexibility, provided a reliable barrier against the rising water levels. This flood defense system successfully protected the city from severe flooding, demonstrating the effectiveness of sheet piling and managing stormwater and safeguarding urban areas. Designing sheet piling structures for storm protection requires careful consideration of various factors to ensure their effectiveness and durability. The key considerations include Understanding the soil's properties where the sheet piles will be installed is crucial. The soil must have adequate strength to support the sheet piles and resist the forces exerted by water and waves. Soil tests should be conducted to determine the soil type, density, and bearing capacity, which will influence the design and selection of sheet piles. The design must account for the maximum anticipated water levels and the intensity of wave action during storms. This includes analyzing tidal patterns, storm surge heights, and wave forces. Properly designed sheet piling should extend deep enough into the ground to withstand the maximum expected water pressure and wave impact without failure. The potential environmental impact of installing sheet piles must be assessed and mitigated. This involves evaluating how the structure will affect local ecosystems, sediment transport, and water quality. The step-by-step -step installation process includes The first step in installing sheet piling is to conduct a thorough site assessment. This includes surveying the area to identify any obstacles, evaluating soil conditions, and planning the layout of the sheet piles. 
Preparation may involve clearing debris, leveling the ground, and marking the positions where the sheet piles will be driven. Once the site is prepared, the sheet piles are driven into the ground. This is typically done using specialized equipment such as a vibratory hammer, impact hammer, or hydraulic presses. The method chosen depends on the soil conditions and the type of sheet piling material. The sheets are driven to the required depth, ensuring they're interlocked properly to form a continuous barrier. To enhance stability and ensure the sheet piles can withstand storm forces, anchoring and bracing are crucial. This involves installing anchors to secure the sheet piles and adding braces to distribute the loads evenly. Anchors can be driven into the ground behind the sheet piles and braces are placed at intervals to prevent lateral movement. Proper anchoring and bracing are essential for maintaining the integrity of the structure during extreme weather conditions. The installation of sheet piling requires various types of equipment and techniques to ensure precision and effectiveness. Vibratory hammers are commonly used for efficiency in driving sheets into the ground with minimal disturbance. Impact hammers are employed for tougher soil conditions where more force is needed. Hydraulic presses offer a quieter and more controlled installation method. In addition, laser levels and GPS technology are often used to maintain alignment and accuracy during installation. Installing sheet piling for storm protection presents several challenges, including dealing with hard or rocky soils, ensuring proper alignment, and managing environmental impacts. Solutions to these challenges involve selecting the appropriate equipment and techniques for the specific site conditions. For example, pre-drilling holes can facilitate driving sheets into hard soils. Using guide frames and templates helps maintain alignment. Environmental challenges can be addressed by implementing best practices to minimize disruption, such as using silt curtains to control sedimentation and choosing materials with lower ecological impacts. Regular monitoring and adjustments during the installation process also contribute to overcoming these challenges and achieving a successful outcome. Regular maintenance and inspection of sheet piling are crucial to ensure its long-term effectiveness and durability. These practices help identify and address potential issues before they become significant problems thereby extending the lifespan of the structure and maintaining its protective capabilities. Regular maintenance and inspection are vital to ensure sheet piling remains effective in storm protection. These activities help detect early signs of wear and tear, corrosion, and structural damage, allowing for timely repairs and preventive measures. By maintaining the integrity of sheet piling, contractors can avoid costly repairs and replacements. When it comes to storm protection, common maintenance practices for sheet piling should include steel sheet piles are susceptible to rust and corrosion, especially in marine environments. Applying protective coatings such as epoxy or galvanization can prevent rust formation. Regular cleaning to remove salt deposits and other corrosive elements is also essential. Regular inspection should include checking for any signs of bending, cracking, or displacement in the sheet piles. Ensuring the interlocks between sheets remain tight and secure is critical to maintaining the structure's overall stability. When planning sheet piling projects for storm protection, understanding the various cost factors is crucial for budgeting and decision making. These costs encompass material, installation, and ongoing maintenance expenses, all which contribute to the overall investment in the project. The most common factors include the choice of materials significantly affects the cost of sheet piling. Steel sheet piles are typically more expensive due to strength and durability, whereas vinyl and composite sheet piles 
might offer a more cost-effective solution depending on the project's requirements. In addition, material costs can vary based on market conditions and the specific type of sheet piling used. Installation expenses include labor, equipment, and site preparation. The complexity of the installation process, such as the need for specialized equipment or challenging site conditions, can drive up cost. For example, driving sheet piles into hard or rocky soils may require more powerful machinery and longer installation times, increasing overall expenses. Conducting a cost-benefit analysis helps determine the value of investing in sheet piling for storm protection. While the initial cost of materials and installation may be high, the benefits of reduced storm damage, increased property protection, and long-term durability often outweigh these expenses. Effective storm protection can prevent costly repairs and losses from storm damage, providing significant savings over time. In addition, the reliability and longevity of sheet piling can offer peace of mind, knowing that coastal infrastructure is well protected against severe weather events. Again, we'd like to thank our sponsor, ECA. Visit ecanet.com or call 800-PILE-USA to view their impressive lineup of drilling and pile driving rigs and other deep foundations equipment.